So substitution is usually pretty straightforward, but when you have the symbol pi in there, some people get confused by this, so I just wanted to go through a few examples. Um, remember, pi is an irrational number. It's a non-repeating decimal that goes on and on and on and on. You can round it to things like 3.14 um, and plug it in, but that becomes imprecise, and so a lot of the time, especially in this exam where you're not allowed to use a calculator, uh, just leaving it as pi is the much more precise and just easier and better way to do it. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do. If you've got a cylinder, the area of the circular base is of course just the area of the circle, pi r squared. And the volume of that cylinder then would be the area of the base times the height, so pi r squared h. And if I told you that the radius was 3 centimeters and the height was 4 centimeters, use substitution and find me the area and the volume. So for the area, I know that r is going to be equal to 3 centimeters, so I've got 3 uh, how do I write that? I can write that as pi times 3 squared. Going with my formula that is pi r squared. Remember there's a little invisible time sign there. And because order doesn't matter on timesing, I know that um, 3 squared is just going to be 9. And then I'm just going to leave it with pi. I'm just going to say 9 pi. Now mathematically I know that's 9 times pi, and that's going to give me some number. You know, slightly bigger than 27, but I don't want to know that decimal number, and I don't expect you to calculate it either. I want you to leave it exactly like that. It's 9 pi, and in this case, centimeters squared, because it was 3 centimeters that we squared. So again, your answer stays as pi. You could have pi times 9, but again, out of convention, we usually just write the number first, and then the pi afterwards, and watch your units. For your volume, my formula then is going to be pi r squared times h, so pi times 3 squared times 4. Simplifying that out, we get 3 squared is 9 times 4 is 36. So we can write that as 36 pi, and in this case, centimeters cubed, because it's the volume. So again, I'm not going to go 36 times 3.14, blah, 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 and get some crazy decimal. I'm just going to leave it as 36 pi. It's a much nicer, prettier way to write that answer, and it saves you all the decimal headache and everything else. And this is actually how we want it to be written. So when you see things that say, leave the answer in terms of pi, that means leave pi in the answer, just like I've done here. So that's all they're looking for. Okay. So if you've got pi in one of those equations that you're trying to calculate with, again, you can just leave it. You don't have to put in the decimal and try and calculate what it is.